other hand, he often sits back and takes his time before making a decision. He told me that one of his goals was to find the right girl and to get married before his old age pension kicked in. <laughs> well, he made it. At 32 years of age, he finally found the right girl, so congratulations. And it was worth the wait, Kent, right? 35? Well, he acts like he's only 32. I mean, he's happy to know how like him. Anyways, one of the neat things about weddings is that there's no magical age. You can get married when you're very young. You can get married when you're very old. And I've got a story to share with you. Jacob, who was 92 years of age, and Rebecca, who was 89, and lived in Miami, are all excited about their decision to get married. They go for a stroll to discuss the wedding, and on the way they pass the drugstore. Jacob suggests they go in. Jacob addresses the man behind the counter. Are you the owner? The pharmacist answers yes. Jacob, we're about to get married. You sell heart medication. Pharmacist, of course we do. Jacob, how about medicine for circulation? Pharmacist, all kinds. Jacob, how about medicine for rheumatism? Pharmacy, pharmacist, definitely. Jacob, how about suppositories? Pharmacist, you bet. Jacob, medicine for memory problems, arthritis, and Alzheimer's. Pharmacist, yes, a large variety, the works. Jacob, what about vitamins, sleeping pills, Geritol, antidotes for Parkinson's disease, and so on? Pharmacist, absolutely. Jacob, everything for heartburn and indigestion? Pharmacist, yeah, we sure do. Jacob, do you sell wheelchairs, walkers, and canes? Pharmacist, all speeds and all sizes. Jacob, how about all adult diapers? Pharmacist, of course we do. Good, Jacob says, we'd like to use this store as our Bible registry. Our Bible registry. And then there's another story about a 65-year-old man that went to see his doctor and have his annual yearly physical. And the doctor says, wow, he says, I cannot believe the fantastic shape you are in for 65 years old. And he said, how old was your father when he died? And the man said, did I say my father was dead? I'll have you know my father is 85 years of age. He walks every day, rides his bike, and he plays golf twice a week. And the doctor said, that is amazing. Well, how old was your grandfather when he died? Did I say my grandfather was dead? My grandfather is 104 years of age, and he walks every day, and he's in perfect health. And in fact, next week he's going to get married. And the doctor says, my good Lord, man, why would a guy that's 105 years of age want to get married? And he said to the doctor, did I say he wanted to get married? Anyways, as all of us know, everything started way back in the Garden of Eden. Adam was hanging around the Garden of Eden feeling very lonely. So God asked him, what's wrong with you, Adam? Adam said he didn't have anyone to talk to. God said he was going to make Adam a companion and that it would be a woman. He said, this pretty lady will gather food for you and will cook for you. And when you discover clothing, she will wash it for you. She will, she will also agree with every decision you make and she will not nag you. And she will always be the first to admit she was wrong when you've had a disagreement. She will praise you. She will bury your children and never ask you to get up in the middle of the night to take care of them. She will never have a heart headache and will freely give you love and passion whenever you need it. Adam asked God, what will a woman like this cost? God replied, an arm and a leg. And Adam asked, what can I get for a rib? And of course the rest is history.